Hey everybody, BTO Pro here. Today we're going to talk about a new module I made uh, called A11Y, or the Accessibility Toolkit. Um, so if you're not familiar with accessibility, uh, you probably should be. Part of this project is just kind of awareness raising. Um, but the other part is making it easier to get more accessible components and things that help people use your website. Uh, so if you're interested in A11Y, this isn't actually associated with the A11Y project, um, but they're all about awareness raising and, you know, a community effort to make web accessibility easier. They have some, you know, good checklists and patterns of design and resources. So wanted to play off of that. Um, things utilized in A11Y module is uh, one of them's opendyslexic.org. Uh, so open dyslexic is a, a font you can use that helps people uh, with dys dyslexia. It's a version font. Um, it's also available via CDN, which is how you know we're we're integrating it. Um, and then the other thing we've drawn inspiration from is uh, the Moodle plugin Blocks Accessibility. So what the Blocks or uh, Block Accessibility does in Moodle is uh, if you can see the screenshot there it uh, basically just provides some options as to how you'd like to view the content. So it's kind of what we're drawing inspiration from here. So this is for uh, Drupal 7 and all those other links are there. There's also some links to things like Speed Reader, which is a related project. So see this in action. I'm gonna go into, uh, what else, Elms. Uh, when you install the module under System, there's accessibility settings. And so you've got four things here, um, whether or not to allow the open dyslexic font, whether or not to allow contrast settings, and whether or not to allow text resize. By default, all three are set. Also, there's cookie domain. And cookie domain allows you to uh, set, set the cookie for you know, remembering this setting on the client side, uh, but whether or not to do so for all subdomains. Right, so for example, in Elms Learning Network, you've got a whole boatload of subdomains that look under network, right? These are all different domains. And so I want to remember your settings across them. Well, setting that value everywhere allows that to happen. So let's look at what the net effect is. Basically, you get a block, and there's ways you can implement this elsewhere. This is just how we implement it in Elms. So you've got a block, and so by checking these, right? So the checkboxes before were whether or not these even show up. So if you don't want people to be able to do the uh, optimized fonts for dyslexia, then you know, uncheck that. So let's go ahead and increase the size here. Let's see what that does. All right, so it scales the entire interface using a CSS scale property. It only lets you go up to double the size of the normal interface. Um, you can also then go down and reset. So if I go up one level, to see the, uh, the cookie in action, and then I hit refresh, so you've got the same scale applied. If I move to another domain, just kind of illustrate that this is being set across with that cookie value, you see it's keeping my setting over here, it's kind of neat. Uh, so if I change these settings anywhere in Elms Learning Network, it's propagating them to my browser session uh, is the way we keep it. So if I want to optimize fonts for dyslexia, I click the button, it loads in, the uh, style sheet, which then hits the CDN for this font and then forcibly applies it uh, as best it can to everything. Uh, so this is one of those cases where the important tag is actually uh, important. <laughs> so jump over to the media system. Again, it's keeping those settings in check. Uh, we can also put things into high contrast mode, which uh, I think needs a little bit of work still, but because uh, you can see that button went away, but you can see that again, using CSS properties, it's able to uh, actually apply a filter of high contrast. Uh, some things, I have noticed, you know, some things get goofed on the interface when you go high contrast at the moment, but you know, room for improvement there. Um, and then there's also invert colors, which I actually, uh, I prefer this interface <laughs> at this point. <laughs> but basically anything that's a link, it tries to forcibly set to yellow, Again, need to you know tweak it some for for Elms in this case, but um, so that you can see the outlines of things. But definitely, it reduces the visual clutter of what's going on on the screen. Um, and again, we need to fix that you know flash. I, I almost consider that like the flash of unstyled content, right? Um, but we need to fix that aspect. But you can see it being applied. We just need to get it to apply um, 
as a, a kind of behind the scenes. That's something the Moodle plugin does, something that we'll want to support as well. But you can see, again, it's propagated these settings over here because of the cookie. Um, now that I'm in course content, you can see we also have a speed reader in here and we've got the open content outline and previous next shortcut buttons. So I can hit optimize for dyslexia, invert colors, and then maybe we want to go into speed reader mode, which you could see how this would be a significantly less cluttered way for someone that you know gets overwhelmed with a lot of information um, to be able to focus and just, you know, let's slow this down, right? So now it's not going quite so fast. And maybe this is helping me ingest the information uh, better than I would have normally. It's kind of, you know, part of the point of accessibility is accounting for these things that, you know, just the nature of the web is going to make difficult for someone potentially. So uh, you can see we've got our pages in here. In that look, I can you know go and invert the colors, take that off. We'll just leave optimization for that on. And yeah, so that's you know kind of the whole deal with the accessibility module. Uh, if you want to find out more about the project or submit issues to it, uh, right now it just provides a block that gives you those four things. Uh, Elms is just implementing that block in that area, that off canvas area. Um, but uh, yeah, see you in the queues.